Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. We have Valentine in the house. There she is, happily asleep. Can I say hello to Libra? If I'd been doing more yoga, I'd be more comfortable with twisting back to try and stroke Valentine. But it's been a while. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Can I say hi to Libra? I'm very pleased to see you. Yes, we are. Okay, we're doing love life, we're doing destiny, channel messages, anything we need to know to get us through the week. We have a new moon at the end of the week on the 15th, and guess what also happens at the end of the week on the 15th? Yes! Mercury whew, goes direct. Wow! Leave me a comment on how it's been for you, how your experience has been with Mercury. I know how my experience has been with Mercury. Gosh, <laughs> it's driven me nearly insane. Okay, let's have a couple of cards to start with. Oh my God. Right. The commiseration for that card is that you're not, you are, the, I think it's come up for about either 11 out of 12 of the signs or possibly every single one. Seven of Swords. It's the Sneaky Beaky card. We've got somebody here with swords in their bag. They've clearly kind of nicked them. They're trying to get away with it. There's some kind of authority there looking for them but they're managing to hide behind the tree. You're dealing with a bit of a tricky situation, could be to do with communicating with somebody. You also get the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius. When I get the Seven of Swords and I get the Five of Swords together, I take this as a kind of energy of passive aggression with the five of swords it's fives themselves are disruptors swords are about communication intelligence thinking that kind of thing mercurial stuff it can also happen with the five of swords where you are in a situation with somebody where there's a lot of chess game and maneuvering could be happening at work it sometimes happens at work you know like did you use my seat and lower it have you used my milk and the staff you know fridge that kind of almost petty but still very infuriating type of thing where somebody is annoyed with you or you're annoyed with them and you're not able to come out with it. So you're kind of maneuvering around each other. It's a bit of a tense situation. You get the five of pentacles as well, which is, I think it's Mercury and Taurus. Fixed. When you get the five of pentacles, it's showing you that you might have to come out of your comfort zone a bit. And the comfort zone for Libra is harmony. You may not, it may not serve you the best to be, to be trying to smooth this over or to be harmonious. I'm not saying you need to like jump in there with a, a big old stick, but at the same time, don't try and people please with this one. Even if it's something that you're finding a bit salty and a bit difficult. It's not a good idea to be on that side of the fence, the people-pleasing side. Nice. That's just what is needed. Let me show you the cards. It's exactly what we needed. So, riding into the picture, looking good in the neighbourhood, is the Knight of Cups lovely lovely energy somebody brings a peace offering or somebody brings it can be asking you out a love offering a peace offering it's something that's just worth having it's nice it's decent energy could be pisces cancer scorpio that you're dealing with 
It can be the offer of a job, it can be the offer of pentacles, it can be the offer of love. But it's an offer and we like an offer. As my mother would say, a volunteer is worth 10 pressed men. Exactly. We have the seven of pentacles here. This is the work that you've put in and it's paying off. I love this card for you. It's the card of harvest time. And we are in harvest time. Yes. And the four of wands. You know, they say that we make our own luck. But sometimes, this card in particular, your ability to go without jam today and to be uncomfortable in the moment, but to stick to your kind of premise, does us the world of good. Again, Libra, it's come up for you and Taurus, but boundaries is a big thing. Four of pentacles, what do you want to invest in? It's literally, money-wise, what do you want to invest in? But also, it's people-wise, who and what do you want to invest in? Glorious. Two of Cups, and that card kind of spoke to me. It wanted to come out. It was like, yeah, pick me. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous energy of the Two of Cups. Venus in Cancer. So it's very good for relationships, um, partnerships about something you love, can be a business partnership, but you've really got to love what it is. Um, it can be the renewal of a friendship. It's love, love, love in the neighborhood. I love this card for you. It's very romantic, it's gentle. Also, if there's been some difficulty with somebody, this is a making up card. And then we get the High Priestess. The High Priestess is, ooh, with the Wheel of Fortune. This is about being yourself, basically, your intuition, trusting yourself, trusting that you know when to twist and when to stick, when to invest and when to draw your money out, okay? Rely on your own judgment. It's very, very good but you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in as well, which is just telling you, Libra, that there is a change of fortune. And I feel like the Knight of Cups is bringing that change of fortune. It's generosity. Oh yes, and the world. Now you may be closing out a particular Wheel of Fate here. It could have been going on for a while. It's also the beginning of another one. So I do believe it's very important for you to put your wishes out to the universe on the new moon on Friday, okay? Very important. The world is listening, the universe is listening. Let's have a couple of love oracle cards. I knew you were going to get that card. <laughs> okay, we have the sacred woman. This is about you being that high priestess. You're the one who has the most knowledge in this situation, even if you don't feel like it. And you don't have to apologize or explain for that knowledge. It's just there, okay? It's for free, it's for you. Then we have the divine masculine. Divine Masculine is when you're dealing, obviously, with Divine Masculine energy. And when you get that Seven of Swords, there may have been some difficulties with Divine Masculine. In order to correct this or bring it back into balance or harmony, because you are a Libran, it's best not to confront. It's best for you to keep your side of the street clean and issue your boundaries. Let everybody know what your boundaries are because good fences make good neighbours and you don't have to step on anyone's toes or tell anyone what they ought to be doing, which never works anyway and gets everyone's back up. You just demonstrate your own value. Mark Twain said, people take you at your own recommendation. And that's your motto for this week, Libra. 
check out your September monthly reading, which is in the description box in the playlist below, and I will see you soon. Namaste, Libra.